Hey guys, this is Phantom Stories, obviously named after the Phantom of the Opera. And I don't know why that speckles is really annoying me. So, anyways, um, this is the Phantom of the Opera mask that I got from Wish because I keep losing my mask. <laughs> At one point I had 20 of them, and that was because when I was traveling I kept losing them or it was too lazy to go get them, so I just bought a new one. And because right now, COVID's still around, but you don't need masks as much. But because I'm coughing a lot more lately. <coughs> and I know a lot of people are saying, oh, it's because I smoke. But yes and no. Um, when you smoke, you have a certain smoker's cough. So this one, I could tell it's not as, it's not a smoker's cough. It's my being sick. Uh, cough. So that's why I got this mask because I lost mine, and the one that I got last time was the um, the original black and white Phantom, but it was when COVID first started, so masks were a lot more expensive back then, and I paid fifteen dollars, I think, for the mask because I wanted it custom made, but then I ended up losing it. <laughs> So now I'm like, okay, I'm not going to get custom-made masks anymore. I'm just going to get regular masks. So it's, this one costs $6 off Wish, which in my opinion isn't that expensive because I've seen them for like $5. <clears throat> and then that way I got the Phantom mask on it with the rose. I still want to get the black and white version, but I'm going to wait on that one because it doesn't say the Phantom of the Opera on this one. It does. And I've always wanted the Headstones, uh, the band, they have masks that say fuck it on it, but they are always sold out, they don't have any online right now, and I've been looking on eBay and Facebook and I haven't been able to find it, so I was like, well, since I'm traveling and in case if I get sick or I have a scar, I have a new mask, so I'm glad that I got that one, so now I have two masks. <laughs> I don't know where all my masks went. I had 20 at some point and they just kind of disappeared. I know I lost like one or two, but I still don't know where the other ones went. So, disappeared. <laughs> <clears throat> and then I got this microphone. So, Speckles is finally not bothering the shot, but there's Speckles. Speckles! And Josephine. <laughs> So, I like showing the cats off when I don't want to be in the video because I'm not really quite awake yet and I'm still a little sick. So, um, I am going to work on videos so soon because now I got the tripod and the microphone and I want to test them out. So, that will be good. Cats are being annoying. So, these are the microphones that I got, and this is also from Wish, and there are two. And for some reason, when I did the Christmas video, the audio didn't come out, so I had to do, edit that video, because the, the audio was really bad. You couldn't hear anything, but when I do other videos, the sound turn, seems to come out, so... Not quite sure why that work happens like that, but <clears throat> as you could tell, it's a lot smaller. Um, and then I could just carry one mic with me. I don't know, I might bring two, but um, this is a receiver. So, so much smaller than the microphone that I have now, which is big, and it's four parts, and then I have to keep taking them apart and putting them together, taking them apart, putting them together, so this is actually so much easier, and this was six dollars, I believe, on Wish as well, the microphone, and I'm going to Victoria January 20th to 25th, maybe 26th, um, so I want to bring lighter equipment with me, so that's why I got this microphone, is so for the trip. So I could uh, bring less stuff. And then I bought a new tripod. So this is the tripod here. And it doesn't go as high as my tripod. So I'm going to see if 
just get, if I could take it apart or not, but I don't think I can. But I might actually end up bringing both tripods anyways, because this is actually pretty small. Um, so this is the selfie stick, and this is the bottom. And it's not very stable, so that's why I'm kind of worried that it will break when I'm in Victoria. So I kind of want to bring my other tripod anyways. So that's how far down it goes. It actually goes more, I think. There we go. So that's the size of it when it's smaller. And then the top part, it pulls. So um, it's not bad. But then because when you take it apart, <laughs> I should have actually had my other tripod up. As you can see. <laughs> okay, so for some reason now I can't get it open again. So I need to practice with it. <laughs> It's probably because I'm not quite awake. Okay, well, anyways, you guys saw it. It comes apart, and then it stands like that. But it's not stable, so that's the only downfall. Like, I could tell that it's not flat like my tripod. It's kind of like the sticks are out. One, two, three. But they're kind of like standing like this rather than that. So there's nothing like that rather than this. So it's not flat. So I have a feeling it will break. <laughs> but we will see. I'll do a better video on this tripod. Like showing how. Because unfortunately there's no instructions. Well there's instructions but they're really crappy. So I might just do a video on this tripod. But in my opinion I think it's going to break. <laughs> because it's not stable. It's not flat, but that's, but I like the pocket size, and I don't have to, and it's all in one piece, which is not bad, um, so that's the main purpose, because my tripod, it's two different parts, and I have to keep taking it apart, so it's very frustrating, so that's one reason why I haven't been filming outside, because then I have to take it apart, and then put it in a shopping cart, bring it with me in the put it together and then put my microphone together and it's just more of a hassle <laughs> which is one reason why I haven't been filming outside and just focused on filming at home so yeah um but I have upgraded my equipment but I do think this tripod might break or might not be stable and it's not that bad that it's not big like my tripod as tall as it gets because I could lean it on something so that's not bad like at the cemetery I could lean it on a chair or something where I could bring something to lean it on <clears throat> so that could help out um so we'll see but uh I'm also staying with a friend so she could help me um take photos and videos when we go to the castles and stuff but when she's working, I'll be doing my own stuff, so we'll see uh, how it turns out, but I am kind of glad that I did get it. It's just, I just got it today, so I haven't been able to, like, figure it out, <laughs> but I will. So that's my upgraded equipment. Um, I kind of understand why now uh, YouTubers have, um, or, like, filmmakers have 10 different tripods, and they have ten different microphones <laughs> because you never know with gadgets sometimes they break sometimes um for the shot that you want it doesn't really work which is why i got the first tripod that i got was a tall tall tripod as uh tall as i was because i wanted something big because i'm a short <laughs> so that's why i got that one but then now i have this so it's a little easier so we'll see i mean i still have 
it's not until next Friday that I'm going to Victoria, so I still have time to make videos and fool around with uh, the different tripods and see which one works better before I go, but I'm thinking of taking both with me. But I might just uh, take my, take that tripod for the camcorder, but we'll see. I don't know yet. But it's funny because when I travel, people are like, oh, yeah, such a big luggage. And <laughs> even though it's big, um, there's barely any clothes in it. It's mostly like outfits for some, like my Matthew Big B and stuff like that. But I don't really have much clothes. It's more for equipment, for my microphone, my tripod. Uh, and I don't want to carry two different um, suitcases because it's just me. And it's just too much. So, yeah. It's one reason why I kind of miss my ex's place in a while. Because I had, like, um, stuff at his place. <laughs> For clothes and stuff like that when I went to go visit and then I had like some equipment there so it was easier so I didn't have to travel with but sadly don't we're not together and we're not friends but life goes on things happen things have to happen for that to to real to be there and like I keep telling people I never wanted a third cat but if I didn't have my ex and if I didn't bring him here then I would never have speckles so in a way it kind of works out in the end but <clears throat> yeah should have should have left longer but at least the lesson was learned to never never stay just for love <laughs> If they're not treating you right, don't make excuses for them. Even if they have split personalities and conditions and blah, blah, blah. If they're not treating you right, don't say. It's not worth it. Because they're never coming back to the person you knew, sadly. <clears throat> so anyways, this is the uh, new improved equipment. So stay posted for... More videos to come, trying out my new equipment, and I'm hoping to, uh, do, start telling stories with the equipment, uh, some ghost stories, and see how that works, but I got a vacuum out of the ball, so, <laughs> we'll see, but some more videos will be coming, uh, stay posted, but I just wanted to show off my, uh, equipment, and I am getting more and more serious about YouTube, I'm kind of trying to upload videos at least every day or every other day and if I don't feel like being in the video I put my cats in the video they just appeared <laughs> so you can see them so that's Josephine but yeah I'm still waking up so um I'm also focused on doing a day in my life at home video um, I haven't started it yet, but I did get a morning clip, so, um, I don't know if that will be before I go to Victoria, but I do want to do a blog about being at home all day, because people think I do nothing when I'm at home, which is not true. <laughs> I do a lot of cooking, I do a lot of sleeping, I do a lot of cleaning, so I'm always doing something, it's never a dull moment, as people think. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just recording small clips and then I'm slowly uploading them to YouTube and then I'll put them all together, but I kinda am focused to at least get a video up every single day, even if I'm not in the video because it's getting more subscribers and it's getting more content and um, they say that after you have a thousand videos, then you usually end up getting more but better audience, and I'm only at 400 and something videos, so it's not a lot. Oh, the cats are really bothering me because they just want to be in the camera. They're blocking the view! <laughs> so, yeah, um, but stay tuned. I am being a little more focused, and when I go to Victoria, I'm going to 
probably do some videos on the way there, on the way back, and when I'm there, and I actually have some footage from a previous trip because, um, a sponsor wanted me to record everything, so I have stuff going on the ferry for the connector and all that stuff, so I think I'm going to be editing that video soon and putting together a big video with that, um, but now I take regular transit because it's cheaper and I could still smoke, <laughs> uh, at least until I get on, uh, get up to the ferry, so that's why I take transit. <laughs> But yeah, okay, now there's Josephine. Hey, Princess Josephine. Oh, and I did uh, up to upgrade my um, Twilight Zone drop as well, which I could show you guys, I guess. And that off. So I added cards that are here and dice before they, that wasn't there. That's for the. Can't remember the episode now, but um, the guy loves. Uh, poker and he loves the casino and he thinks that he's in heaven but it turns out that he's actually in hell <laughs> because when you do what you love so much it's not the same and when you're always winning so that's why I kind of added those and cards and dice are always in a few other episodes and then I have the dice lined up here as well and then I still have the cards there, so I'm still kind of adding them around the poster here. So, slowly, slowly adding more stuff to my Twilight Zone drop. I still love this film thing that I got for free, which is totally awesome. I love it. And, yeah, the cards and the collage. And this is one of my favorite sayings now. I wish she to the cornfield. <laughs> Permits a good life. So if you haven't seen the Twilight Zone yet, check it out. But slowly adding more stuff to my backdrop. So yeah, that's it for now. Um, about my backdrop, adding more stuff and adding more equipment. And yeah, stay tuned. More videos to come. More Twilight Zone videos to come. I like reacting out those. And I still want to do um, my favorite episodes kind of thing. So lots, lots to come. There's a new vision. And that's why I'm called Phantom Straight now. Because I could do more than just ghost stories. And welcome to my haunted zone. Which is, or feels like, the Twilight Zone. <laughs> Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.